episode of Green Healing Show. I'm very excited today because it's been a long time I was going to go live with Green Healing Show and I already have a lot of people in a queue to come and talk to you because my purpose is uh, giving you an awareness about this beautiful holistic medicine and know that there is a bridge between holistic medicine and uh, conventional medicine. They can be connected because our body and mind should be connected to heal. If you just go and try medication, it doesn't work for you because that's the fast healing and it doesn't give you a root cause issue of your problem. Today with the Evgenia, uh, oh, I try to <laughs> read her last name. Of, oh, hopefully, it's correct. Uh, Hartonova, Har Haritonova, right? Yes, yes. Now <laughs> it's right. You got it. <laughs> Evgenia Haritonova, and uh, she is going to talk about self care. You know, self care is the first step to healing to whoever I have as a practitioner and as a, a fertility coach, I always tell my clients, start with the self-care. Because if you don't care of yourself, healing doesn't start. You have to feel peaceful, happy, and then your body try to respond to you. So I'm saying even much more valuable than the other drugs. I mean, self-care. Self-care is the best drug ever. We have lots of excuses for not taking care of ourselves, specifically when we are moms or we have full-time jobs. And now we are going to learn about self-care on busy schedule. Let's bring uh, Evgenia Hari. <laughs> Haritonova. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes, you got it. You nailed it. <laughs> yeah, she's a health and wellness coach. And I'm really excited to have her here, especially for the first episode of Green Healing Show. Uh, welcome to my show. Thank you so much for accepting my invite to be here. Thank you Thank very, you much, very Pante. much, Pante. I'm, I'm super, super excited, excited to be here. Actually, I have this sound like echoing in my uh, headphones right now. No, no, it became better. Mm -hmm. Okay, so thank you very much. I'm excited to be here and especially to talk about this particular topic. It's one of my favorite because, well, I'm a health and wellness coach and um, uh, I like to put it this way. I help people love themselves into a healthier lifestyle without uh, sweating it too much, without overwhelm, without yo-yo effects, because it's important uh, when we try to do too many things at once to change in our lifestyle, it's not really working usually because it's hard to sustain it. And um, what I find, like I stress this uh, love themselves into the healthier lifestyle on purpose because it's actually the, the key part, I think the self-love, when it comes to self-care, is the key component. It just has to be there for us to be able to take care of ourselves, to, to be, how to say, motivated to take care of ourselves. And um, self-love is just like any other external relationship. Imagine another person and they just don't listen to you or they disrespect you or they take you for granted. Or actually, let's even flip it because when we flip it and it's us on this side who is being um, disrespected or taken for granted, we really notice it, right? <laughs> It just will not go unnoticed. We don't like it. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel good. And no matter how kind we are, the relationship is not going to flourish if it's like this, right? Exactly the same happens within ourselves. And we, a lot of the time, we don't even really notice how we become that person who disrespects, 
who takes everything for granted. Because just think of it, how much our body does for us every day, every single second of the day, <laughs> without requesting anything back. It just gives and gives and keeps on giving, despite of everything we do to it. And it's not only good things that we do to it. So, um, also, I just wanted to say that in any external relationship, it's easy uh, to change the partner. You At least you have an option. It's sometimes not easy, but you have an option. In this relationship, we don't have the choice. <laughs> exactly. We have to <laughs> yourself. Yeah. Yes, we are with it uh, full life. And, uh, and it's actually good because we've got to understand this. It's not like someone uh, we think is more lucky than us because they've got, I don't know, a better body, better looks, better something. It's actually the other way around. When we start liking, loving what we have, everything else just comes in synchronicity and it all starts flowing. We have this ripple effect in all areas of life. So. I, uh, as a coach, I always start here with the self-love because without it, no, mm, no good changes, no healthy habits would even have a chance to stick. Yeah. You know, I was uh, talking with one of my uh, interviewees. She's a really awesome lady. And she said, by the time I didn't realize myself and I didn't start loving myself, I couldn't find my guy. <laughs> she said, I was trying so badly from one relationship to another. And then at some point I said, I'm going to stop it. I'm going to take care of myself. I'm going to enjoy with myself first. And then something amazingly happened and she could actually find her guy and then they got married and they have kids. So I think that's the same even with mind and body connection in healing because a lot of time when we are doing a healing process, we are very messy and we are just trying to get the medication, go to the doctor appointment, you know, and we totally forget about ourselves. Then at some point we said, okay, no, this is not what I'm seeing in the mirror. This is not me. I don't like that. I like to change it. And the moment you change everything in your body, the energy come to you and the reflection on the mirror is you. When you start loving yourself, uh, then nature loves you more. People around you loves you more. Other than that, the relationship with you and yourself is something... Uh, very desperate and disappointing. What do you mean by this? I didn't understand the last uh, uh, I mean, thing you said. Uh, yeah, as soon as you don't love yourself, uh, then you yes, start right. desperate relationships from one to another one. And it's not only external, with yourself. Because if you don't like yourself in the mirror, you know, then you don't reflect this in your body. Yes, exactly. Um, you even reminded me, I would say one of the indicators, it's like a test, it's like a lachmus test uh, thing to check if you, how is your relationship with yourself doing, is if you can look in the mirror and say without any inner resistance, without any kind of ooh, feeling uh, like this, without any tension, that uh, I love you, I love myself. Yes. If you can say that just easily and naturally, just like you would to the person that you love, then it's, it's a working relationship, it's all fine. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I used to live alone for a long time before having my family here in Canada. And then for some time, I really was really desperate. I didn't know how should I live alone, you know, because I was from a very family-oriented family. And then I was thinking, okay, let's just, just change it a little bit. So I tried to take a trip by myself. <laughs> so I went to ski 
every every week I started going to ski with myself only two hours drive and come back so total four hours and then I see oh I'm amazing I'm I'm really enjoying being myself and then enjoying <laughs> having even uh, ordering something for myself in the restaurant going to Starbucks coffee sit there in indigo chapters reading books there are lots of great things you can do by yourself even if you are from a family i mean live with your family still still you need some time only for yourself yes absolutely i <laughs> cannot agree more yeah. than right i cannot now, agree more i have kids I, she's three year old and she's really playful and i know i i but i really need some time just for myself focusing yes. on what i want what because other than that you cannot recharge your energy <laughs> yes 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 yeah. we yeah. need some time on our own we need to replenish the energy and uh, we just like children we also need the play time and yeah. when we are with children it's not just play it's mostly us serving them so it's kind of more work for us and it's play for them yeah. But we also, even though we are adults, we still need the playtime. Exactly. So give me some points, some tips. How can we start uh, this self-love process, uh, even if we are very busy in a busy schedule? Because that, that's the problem. I always say, oh, I don't have time to just take care of myself. Just let it be. That's me, you know. How can I create this self-love ritual in my life it would be very very individual i would say and um, well to start looking at this probably it's worth to just look at this word busy first let let's look at what we are busy with because it also can be different and it can give us some clues like busyness can be i would say a good business if as a result we feel we do something on everyday basis and we feel fulfilled it energizes us it uh, makes us feel great and happy this is all good then then it means that you actually are connected to uh, what your soul wants to do because when it's the other way around when we are doing what we do every day and we feel drained we feel like we have to do it we feel like we ought to do it must do it um it's an indication that we probably injected some other people's values in our life and we are not living our as our authentic selves and I would say this is utterly the highest level of self-care. It's like the soul, uh, the level of the soul. When we take care of our soul by um, fulfilling the highest values of ourselves every single day, by living them as opposed to doing what we think we have to do. Because other people, if we don't do that for ourselves, other people will make our time busy with their agendas, with their exactly. highest values, <laughs> very easily and very quickly. So we really have got to be mindful about this because um, at the soul level, if it's, got, if it's right, if we are doing what we are supposed to do and we are energized by that, the other two levels, mental and physical, they will be nourished by this alone even even without doing something uh, particularly good for ourselves uh, it will kind of almost sort itself out because now we have enough reasons to yes. take care of ourselves now we know that we need to do this we, we want we have dreams we have visions we act on them every single day now we have enough reasons to actually take care of ourselves so the problem comes usually when it's the other way around when we are busy doing some other people uh you know fulfilling some other people values not our own we will feel drained and 
it will be much harder to take care of ourselves. Like we won't have motivation for that. And um, the health will be just deteriorating even just because of that. Yeah. And uh, you said uh, you can create this with mini habits in a busy schedule. Can you just explain it a little bit? Yes, absolutely. This is actually the beautiful part of it because people often uh, don't even start to change their lifestyle because they think it should be so hard. They will need to change everything. They will need to turn their whole life upside down. But it's not like that at all. The main thing is to really pick one thing just one thing but the thing that is yours so there is nothing universal we are all different um uh, no cookie cutter approach is working here as well it's we need to find because we have different needs we have different preferences we have different abilities physically and mentally and uh, otherwise we are all totally completely different and also in the time um our um, well how to say the needs of our body are different throughout the different periods of our life so it actually takes a good look good um, conscious look at our life and just picking one thing because um, different activities actually produce different results and there are always something that you can do that will give you 80 percent of results with 20 percent of the efforts and I cannot just give it as a universal recipe because, as I say, it will be individually different to everyone. But there is always such a thing. And this is the way to start it, to make it sustainable. Because when we start, I've started many changes. Uh, at, at one point, I've tried to change, you know, like almost everything in my diet. I decided to exclude all sugar, all gluten, <laughs> all there all at the same time uh and of course i failed i could uh, i could stay at it for about i don't know maybe two months but it was so restrictive it just felt like uh, i was suffocating <laughs> like <laughs> it's just too hard it's not sustainable yeah. it we we've got to pick one thing that is our thing that will give us significant effect with uh, relatively not a lot of the effort and uh, it's always possible such thing is always there i would even suggest uh, picking one thing one negative thing you want to stop doing in your lifestyle and almost everyone has something like this either it's binge eating or maybe not moving enough or maybe not ha being very stressed and not having any um, ground and uh, calming practice like meditation or something like that we all have something that we uh, would really benefit if we eliminated that from our life yes. so i suggest picking one thing like this and it doesn't have to be big it can be something yeah. small that's the problem when you start big you fail big <laughs> yeah yeah that's, exactly that's my uh, prophecy actually what what i just realized uh, let's say for you said diet i talked to so many uh, nutritionists and doctors and they said we don't believe in like 14 days diet 16 days diet you have to change your lifestyle Yes, absolutely. Gradually, yes. you have to pick it up. Like if you just say, "Okay, I, I'm gonna, I need a fast result," then you leave, you actually lose that result very soon. <laughs> but yeah, if you yeah. change your lifestyle totally, and after sometimes your body start changing, and you don't actually push too hard to do it. So you don't feel uh, like choking. <laughs> and, yes, Monte, yes. You, you reminded me to say, um, to come back to the definition of the habit. Because what is the habit? Habit is simply something that is easier to do than not to do. That's yeah. it. So when we pick something that is definitely good for us and start sticking to it, at some point, the momentum will pick up. 
it will become a habit and it will become easier for us to just do it rather than not to do it. And this is what I mean by compounding. So this word compounding, uh, you know, health and vitality is uh, in the title of the topic today. And it's a very important word because any good habit over the time, it just compounds the goodness. And compounding is a powerful thing, as you probably know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we've got to make the long-term choices. We've got to change the habit of uh, like defaulting to the short-term thinking instead of long-term uh, thinking. Exactly. The, to make time our friend, we've got to be making long-term decisions. And any decision about developing a healthy habit is a long-term decision. It's going to compound with the time. But the bad news is exactly the same compounding happens on the bad side for us. Yeah, if, exactly. if we take short-term <laughs> decisions, right? You know, I, I actually saw a diagram in one of the, uh, one of the movies. And it shows if you, over time, if you go better and better, this diagram go higher and higher. Doesn't matter uh, how long does it takes. It show you like in six months, you, you're gonna be in pitch point. And vice versa, it's true. Cause if you, you're doing, oh, okay, I'm lazy. I cannot do it. A little bit less, a little bit less, le less, less, less. And then finally you, finish you are losing your good habits let's say like i uh, i have a habit in journaling so since i was 16 year old i used to write so writing is like kind of some something that i cannot separate from myself i have to write <laughs> me too me too yeah, yeah. so and it gives me really great uh feeling because this habit replaced by my worries, my concern. I can analyze myself. I can do so many things. Even with the diet, I did the same thing. Let's say coffee. I loved coffee. I loved the smell of coffee, everything. And then I said, okay, if I want to have a kid, uh, the doctor say it's better you cut the caffeine totally. And I said, okay, that's fine. I can replace it in my mind with something else. Let's say coffee. Uh, then when I think about the coffee, visualize it. I say, okay, when I have coffee, I will have some uh, bad color on my teeth. <laughs> and oh, look, look, the stomach, my stomach get upset when I have coffee. Then after some time, I, I didn't like coffee at all. <laughs> yeah, so exactly. With this, with this uh, method, I tried. I change everything. Change all the habits I have, bad or good thing, so I easily can replace them. Let's say I didn't like green tea, then I say, "Oh, green tea is good because look at this. It's warm. It gives you great feeling. It gives you good results. So everything with habits, habits is possible." Let's say having a big platform. Right now, my YouTube channel is growing very fast, but it was not the same in the beginning. So many people in the beginning, they just give up because they want to have the same result as somebody who has this right channel for years. It's not going to happen. You have to just go constantly, which is the point constantly go with your good habit and after time you build the foundation that's the point for health that's the that's the thing i always uh, give recommendation with my clients i said if you want to have the strong foundation with your diet with your lifestyle it starts from mini habit constantly don't give it up after a year, you'll see what's going to happen. The problem is people are waiting for fast result. Get the medication, get the like pain relief medication, but they don't go with the foundation. So they cannot build the big and a stronger foundation. Yes, I cannot agree more. Uh, you just repeated actually uh, my thought about it. <laughs> Um, habit is everything and it's actually easier to change it than people think 
it just becomes hard when you start too many habits at the same time. So mm -hmm. when, when we just, if we just pick one, but really pivotal habits, like for example, um, let's say that right now you see that in your life, it's your um, eating habits that need, that, that will have the most beneficial effect for you if you change something in there. Or you can see that you haven't been moving enough and sitting on the couch and watching television too much. So that probably is the area of life that you need to pick the habit for. And once you do it, and once, as you said, you stick to it, you manage to stick to it, and you will have enough energy if it's only one habit. Because your attention, your willpower will not be diluted. And you will only will uh, need some willpower at the beginning. When it exactly. gradually becomes a habit and momentum picks up, you don't even need your willpower anymore. You will love it naturally, just like you with uh, the coffee. Uh, you don't like it anymore because, well, it's not, it's it's not, gonna not a habit. It's going to be part of your life. It's going to be part of your life. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Evgenio, we have four minutes left. Uh, I just want to talk about your program. Uh, you said um, you uh, have a self-care club on Facebook, right? Yes, what that's the group, private group. Yeah, what is, what, is, what is your purpose for this group? My purpose for this group is to provide some actionable um, advice and help in terms of self-care. And, <laughs> uh, and basically, because I'm also working behind the scenes, I'm also working on creating a program. Uh, mm -hmm. I've just had the first initial beta program recently, and now I'm getting it to the next level. So uh, the group is uh, like a playground. I check my material there. I gather the feedback from people, and uh, I just check what works, what not, what what's not working, what what uh, gathers some interest and momentum, and uh, what doesn't. Uh, so right now I have been, I only started it a couple of months ago and uh, I've started posting some workouts also aimed at people on the busy schedule, like mm -hmm. not yeah. for those who can Flex. dedicate, uh, I don't know, three hours a day to, uh, to go to the gym or to do some movement. So something that would be very efficient uh, in a short period of time um so this yeah. is what the group is for so self-care club on facebook and you can find her on instagram if the coach if the coach yes if the coach yeah she's here to help you as a self-care in busy schedule because <laughs> uh, especially right now in covid situation that's what we'll need and that's uh, about the green healing show because m my purpose is just showing you that self-care is the first step in healing as soon as you realize you're gonna be healed that's gonna happen in you so medication is not enough medication is a fast fast result and it doesn't get you a great foundation of health so you need to create these mini habits and improve your health by replacing bad habits with good ones. And here, uh, Evgenia is the one who can help you. And you can also have your own customized program on self-care because everybody has its own busy schedule and its own um, interests. You can do it journaling. You can do different arts, whatever that you can focus and enjoy it. Yeah, that's going to help you to improve. Thank you so much, uh, Evgenia, being here. I really enjoyed talking to you. And I hope a lot of success and luck for your Facebook group and your business. Thank you very much, Pante. Uh, thank you very much for having me here. And uh, I wish you all the best with your book. I know it's just been out, and my yes. congratulations on that. Thank you so much. That yeah, is yeah, so cool. Conceived. It's there, uh, published on Amazon, two times uh, bestseller. 
And then for whoever wants to get pregnant and is struggling with pregnancy, welcome to have it. And you can also subscribe to Panta Kalhor Transition channel to get notification from all these shows. And yeah, watch these amazing interviews with me. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you very much. Bye. Bye.